Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's scripture read comes from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 12. And it reads, As a shepherd seeks out his flock, and he is among his sheep that have been scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and I will rescue them from all places where they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. This verse so reminds me of the first verse in Psalm 23, right? Where it says that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. See, as the body of Christ, we are that one true flock of Jesus Christ. And there's going to be a day where he's going to collect us from all of the places where we've been scattered all over the world. And we're going to spend an eternity with him in his eternal kingdom. So today I want you guys to think about that. You know, think about how no matter what persecution that we're suffering, the Lord is going to come, collect us and bring us into glory for an eternity. He says, when did your religion get scattered among the heathen, sir? Let's talk about that tonight. Let's talk about that. That's another reason why I'm doing this, this test, this audio test, because I want to make sure when I get ready to bring that sword out, which is the word of God, and I get ready to start dashing you to pieces, you're going to be able to hear me clearly. And I want my audio and I want my video to be on point. So when you do clip it and you present it to your audience, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be on so point. So even me so. being in those camps being tortured don't mean that it's a death sentence for me. And we know the Bible says the dead in Christ are going to rise first. So I'll end up first. So you ask me, well, where are you going to be? You're being, you're playing a game and this is serious. You have you been born either. again? I have you been born again? Yes, I've been born again. That's why I'm not sitting there uh, teaching the same thing that I was taught when I was a kid. That's why I'm not running around talking about Jesus is white. Salvation is for everybody because I've been born again. I changed the renewing of my mind. I humbled myself like that little kid. I realized that I didn't know everything. He was, he was talking good till he started talking about that's how I ain't talking about Jesus is white. Like all Christianity running around here teaching that. Dang, he was talking good for a minute. I almost forgot he was scary. And I almost forgot he was scary. And I almost forgot he was scary. Let's see. Let's see where he going. Let's hear him out, though. Let's hear him out. Let's see where he going right now. Because before, he was saying some stuff, and I'm like, okay. Now, I, I, we don't know what, what, what they're dealing with with this bone again thing. But let's hear what he's saying. Don't, don't, don't. Don't knock it until you, matter of fact, don't knock it until you hear it. Let me show you something, being that we're talking about that. Is that your brother in Christ, Alton? Y'all already know. Oh, you talking about Sakari? Yeah. No. 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 Okay. You know what? I'm probably going to be going on probably about, uh, probably going to be going live later on tonight. And if you want to hop on, I'm going to put the link out there. It's time for us to get it in. And shout out to, 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 to uh, Sakari Sergeant. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, I, I I like you. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do. I really don't have no beef against you. You know what I'm saying? I I, you, I like to to engage and have conversations with you. You know, keep keep them videos coming too, because you're making me famous. Plus you give me something to laugh at. Uh Shish kebab your top. So you're gonna really live up to your name, Shish kebab your top, because you're gonna get skewered and cooked. I grab my pen and write raps defending the prophecies. Not the pastor's friend that ain't mastered in this theology. Slave masters can ain't have to sin an apology. So know the man of sin can be grafted into this olive tree. At school, we ain't learn about the Persians and Medes. Listen, it's the school to learn about the birds and the bees. Cause under heathen watch, evil plots turn to decrees. Under heathen watch, even cops turn into thieves, nigga. That's how it is on the wild, wild west. Not until the heaven hits the earth will I find my rest. All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises to the most high God, Yahweh. The name is only begotten son of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is your time with the Sakari. I am back with another quick video. As you can see who we got on the screen, our favorite Christian apologist, Alton Jackass Johnson, AKA the Sambo of Satan, the master magician of not answering questions. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what this guy does, man. This guy Alton is disgusting. And what he's done is he showed everybody how much of a liar he is. See, I didn't know that Alton was a liar. I knew that he was dumb, you know what I'm saying? But I did not know he was a liar, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought, you know, sometimes people, you know, when it comes to the Bible, people really just don't, you know, they don't know. Alton Johnson, that's not the same with him. This nigga's a crafty, lying-ass bastard, and he knows it. He's showing it right here. This guy's, you guys seen in the beginning, because I played it again. This guy's over here saying that the church got scattered. So I'm asking him this question, and you guys are going to, I've got another video coming for these guys. When you ask these guys questions, they just will not answer questions it's hilarious i realized that with these guys and this guy he's so disgusting wait till you read the stuff that this guy's saying over here 
proven to the world that he that he knows that he's teaching people lies. But a guy who teaches lies to black people, they have a special spot in Vocab Malone's plantation. That's why he's the commissioner out there in Cocoon County. Because he'll lie to black people he, and, and, and he hates his people. It's ridiculous. He, like I said, Alan's the coon of all coons. We already know that. He said he's been called coon by Christians, man. That's how bad it is for him. So we're just going to get into this real quick. I'm going to read you some of these comments, show you how much of a liar he is. Like I said, we're not letting go of nothing this idiot says, man. This nigga's a liar. His mouth needs to be stopped. And he's not going to stop because he's proud. But it's cool because I need, I need him to talk so I can continue to point him out. Everything that he teaches, everything that he does, it's just a reflection of vocab Malone. All right, so let's just get into this real quick. All right, so look, you see, seven days ago, this is when this started, right? And this is the kind of stuff that Alton Johnson said. So it says, the church has documented history of prophets, apostles, scholars, theologians, and martyrs. It says, Hebrew Israelites have celebrities. So, you know, this guy's so stupid. We already know what time it is without him, man. Dumb as a rock, right? So I tell him the church were, Israel, were Hebrew Israelites just like the prophets, the apostles, and the martyrs. You have no clue how much you embarrass yourself every single day. This is what Alton Johnson does. He doesn't care. He's just so damn dumb. He has no clue what the hell is going on, right? So he says, no, it was a mixture of both. And they died for the name of Christ, not ethnicity. And they never taught the false teachings that you all do. <laughs> it's like, it's like damn, okay, what, like I said, <laughs> what's the false teaching, all right? But it says... Um, I said, everything we teach comes out of the Bible. I said, they would never coon the way you do or teach what you do. Like Christmas trees and Easter where bunnies are squeezing eggs out their asses, right? It says, all the different captivities Israel went through, they never said the reason God did it to them was because of love your enemies. Because <laughs> this is what Alton said. I asked him, why do we go into captivity? Alton Jackass Johnson says, love your enemies. That's his reason for why God put us in slavery. I said, they laugh in your face with goofy talk like that. I said, when was the church first called the church, buddy? Because <laughs> you keep talking about church, right? Let's look at Al Johnson. So he says, just because you quote scripture doesn't mean you're doing it correctly. <laughs> Even Jesus said in the last days, people will be saying, Lord, Lord, and he will declare, depart from me, you, you workers of iniquity. Now look at that. These guys do not teach you to keep the law. So if you break the law, you're doing what? You're working iniquity. These niggas are sitting there talking about Jesus is going to say to people, hey, you say my name. but And that's exact. That's him. He doesn't understand that. That's all you guys. All you guys stay talking about, oh, Christ, I loved you. Christ, I love you. You're literally going around telling people you can eat whatever you want. And you're talking about Christ is going to, you, you think Christ is going to tell you that you knew him? No, he's going to tell you, nigga, you're running around telling people to break God's laws and then telling people that I said to do it. Nigga, get your black ass out of here. You never knew me. Alan doesn't know anything, but like I said before, he doesn't have the sense that God gave a billy goat, man, for real. It says, so you holding a Bible and quoting from it can still land you straight into hell. So I should have asked him, Alan, where's hell at? <laughs> it's going to land me straight into hell? I'll ask you that, Alan. Where's hell? But we already know who you are. You're the master magician. You won't answer nothing. It says, so So look at this dude right here. It says, Alan Johnson, were you going to answer that question, though? I'm just saying. Inquire minds want to know if you you know, that's the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? We all want to know if you know when the church was first called the church since you go screaming about the church all the time, all right? So so I said again, he's a master magician and not answering questions because he is. And I know that the master of magician and not answering questions doesn't make that much sense, but I still think it's funny. It sounded good when I said it and I'm keeping it. That's what this guy is. Master magician, he doesn't answer no question. It's like it's like presto and then it's off to something else <laughs> like he just didn't hear you ask him something, right? You guys, look what Alton Johnson responded with. When I asked him when was the church first called church, Matthew 16 and 18 and then he put he put the emoji with the glasses like he's cool or something. You guys, I asked this guy Alton Johnson when was the church first called the church. This is what he told me. Matthew 16 and 18, it says, And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So Alton said this is the first time that the church was called the church. Man, do you see that right there? And this is this is the pride. of He is on the internet teaching lies after every damn question. And yeah, you guys, look at this, because like I said, I asked him when was the church for a call to church. And like I said, we always got to teach these guys. You know, they sit up and they watch and they learn, but they're such fools. It's, it's really like casting pearls to swine. They just trample over it after reading and listening to everything you said. They they realize how they're wrong. And this is going to, like I said, it's going to show you he knows he's wrong in just a second. So Acts 7 and 35, it says, this is Moses, whom they refused, saying, 
who made thee a ruler and a judge? The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in a bush. So what is Paul talk? What are they talking about right here? They're talking about the Old Testament, right? When we're in the wilderness or back when uh, the angel of the Lord came and spoke to him in a bush, which is where? In the book of Exodus, right? It says, it says, he brought them out. After that, he showed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt, in the Red Sea, and in the wilderness 40 years. Who was he with? In, <laughs> who was Moses with in Egypt? When did the Lord show the sign in the Red Sea? He showed it when he split the Red Sea and the Israelites walked through it into the wilderness, right? And then they were there for 40 years. Who is this talking about, Alton Johnson? This is talking about the Israelites, right? <laughs> it says, this is that Moses, which said unto who? The children of Israel, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall you hear. It says, this is he that was in the church but where is the church at Elton? in the wilderness whoa did you know well we know you didn't know that Elton, because we see the scripture you just gave us i asked you when was the church called the church you tell me when christ told peter that the church is getting ready to be built on him but guess what Elton? this shows you that the church was the church long before you have i said that the church was the church in the wilderness when we came out of the land of egypt man did you know that Elton? It says, this is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the mountains, in Mount Sina. It says, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us. Who got the lively oracles, man? That was the Israelites. So that's who it's talking about. The church is Israel. Dummy. So, so look, <laughs> d -Lo tells him, that's wrong, sir. Want to give it another go? See, Alton doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. And everybody around him knows that he doesn't know what he's talking about. Like I said, Vocab said, I'm dumb. How does Vocab feel about this guy for real? We all know it, don't we? So like I said, Vocab uses black people if he feels like they're dumb. You know what I'm saying? This is how cold he is, man. If he can use you, he won't call you dumb, though. You know what I'm saying? This guy is a cold devil. But it says, was Peter ministering to heathens or the Jews? So look at Alton. Uh, D'Lo, so give the correct answer. He always wants somebody to give him the correct answer because he don't know no answers, man. This guy got 12,000 people on the internet listening to him pork chop because that's all he do. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I didn't know that this nigga was a, a, was a full-fledged liar like this, though. I didn't think when it came to the Bible that nigga would just be, somebody could show him something and he would just keep lying like this. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know these guys don't care about the most high, but it's cool. Guys. So I, ta I tagged D-Lo right here, <laughs> but I meant to tag out, and I said, LOL, out, man. I said, you don't know the Bible, bro. I said, you need to humble yourself like the little child. I said, we all had to do it, too. I said, you destroy yourself. On a regular basis, King. I'm talking about this an everyday thing with you, Alton. Every time you open your mouth, you're wrong. That's a shame. And you don't have to be wrong. You can just learn again. But you, you're, like I said, you're a willing deceiver, man. You're just as good as Esau, man. So I laugh. And I tell him, call your slave master and ask him. We know who his slave master is. The other day is when this guy did this right here, where he lied about Ezekiel 34 to everybody, right? And you heard it in the beginning. I made sure to let everybody hear it again because I wanted you to know exactly what we're talking about. So this was the day that he did it. And these are the comments on here, man. Look at this idiot, man. So I asked him, Alton Johnson, can you stop lying on the most high, please? I said, Ezekiel 34 is not talking about your religion, bro. But we're dealing with Alton. So look, what is my religion? See, what Alton is, he's just a thoroughbred liar. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. So all these little games is because he's here to lie. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? So all of a sudden, I, I have to tell him what his religion is. These are the games with Alton Johnson, but it makes perfect sense how Vocab found him and why Vocab's cool with him. When you find a black man who acts like this, it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just found a video from some racist white dude. He's talking about how there's nothing better than when you can find a nigger that'll call another nigger on his stuff. You can never, you, at least you can't say he's racist. I told you guys the whole time Vocab does that and grabs these black people with him, so it looks like he's not racist. You know what I'm saying? If you got black people saying it. But these Look, this guy, Alan Keyes. Hey. When that Trump speaks, I'll listen. Uh, he's an intelligent black man. Uh, he make Jesse Jackson look like a fucking first grader. And, and he talks about his race. And, and he talks about his race. And, and he talks about his race. Why do we keep depending on them? Why do we want affirmative action? Why do we want a head start exactly. on God? We're just telling them that we're too dumb to be able to get something that you get. This is the way he talks. And I mean, he can't find better than yeah. a nigger that's going to counter another exactly. nigger when he starts his Exactly. Yeah. He can't find yeah. better than yeah. a nigger that's going to counter another exactly. nigger when he starts his Exactly. He can't find yeah. better than yeah. a nigger.
nigger that's going to counter another exactly. nigger when he starts it. Exactly. Yeah. At least he can't say you're a racist. Yeah. At least he can't say you're a racist. Yeah. At least he can't say you're a racist. At least he can't tell us somebody he's a racist. But if you ever get a chance to listen to Alan Keyes. Yeah. But these white, these white KKK people, they say people like Alton, there's no better person than him. They love niggas like Alton, right? So what's my religion? I tell them Christianity, right? That's his religion, guys, right? He says, so Ezekiel has nothing to do with Christians. See, Alton displays his demonic, the demonic force that's that's moving inside of him a lot on these texts. But I mean, it's ridiculous, right? So now Ezekiel has nothing to do with Christians. So I say it has absolutely nothing to do with the religion of Christianity, Alton. Why are you changing my words? Because you're a black devil. You're just as good as any one of these KKK members. It says when you keep the scripture in context, it lets you know who the followers of who these followers of Christ are. Israelites. All you guys got to do is just go read Ezekiel 34. Just read it to the end and then look at Alton Johnson differently because he's willing to tell everybody lies. He's a very satanic individual, right? It says, but I said, if you read it in context, it lets you know who these followers of Christ are. Israelites. I said, but of course, your religion allows you to read one verse, then put your religion in it. I said, tell me this. When did the people of Christianity get scattered among the heathen, right? So, guys, that question, because Alton, he literally, you guys heard him on his thing say that they were scattered and Christ is coming to gather them. So, I'm asking Alton, when did you guys get scattered? Can you show me the Bible verse that talks about that? That's the question. You guys are going to know that he does not answer that question, which shows that he knows that he's teaching lies and he does not care. This is why you can't trust none of these coon-ass niggas in the Christian church, because it's one thing. For a person not to see something, it's another thing for a nigga to be willingly teaching lies. And it's cool because the day is going to come where everybody's going to put their foot so far up in these black Christian pastors' asses. It's not even going to be funny, man. I'll let you, man, check this out. This is who I know, right? I'm the streets, man. What I want to know, man, cold-blooded, man. You, like I'm saying, man, you say you for the people. You got our people all up in your church. You, the, you, you know what I mean? You're supposed to lead these people, man. And I mean, I understand that y'all suffer. You had no answers for like, yo, man, then you come down here like late. Like, I've been on the ground like 100 minutes, like, you know, some days you down here now. Don't come. What'd you do for Taco West? You know what you know where now, city, bro. Like you, you don't need, yo, you need. We don't need what you on our streets. Like you, you disrespect our streets, man. This, this me, PFK Paul. I was on the front. You disrespected up here north, and you came down there. You ain't even fighting no war with us, yo. You ain't had nothing on your show. You ain't had no guns or nothing. And then you fucking with our oppressors. What's me? How you fucking with Roland Blake and all them, man? You trying to kill us, man? Where were you for Taco West? That's you are, man. But we telling you, you are the streets feel like you killing us, man. All right, I won't come no, we don't want you in our fucking city now. Then get the fuck out the whole city. Now, that is it that easy? Then we can really get you the fuck out of here. No, sir. Well, you check this out, man. Don't come in our mud. Don't come nowhere down here no more. Wherever PFK boom at, don't come. I know you can tell your henchmen. I know you, your TV and all them. I know you before I seen about my all that. Get the henchmen. Don't come down here no more. Boom set. Me as a man, the streets don't want you here. I'm speaking for them. So we, so we see you here. So you said you won't come on my motherfucking streets no more, right? Don't bring your ass down here no fucking more. I mean it, yo, on my fucking kids, yo. Cause you're a fucking disgrace, a golden, a guardian angel for Satan. For who? Cause you damn sure ain't guard me, nigga. Yeah, get the fuck up out of here. What you do for Tyrone West again? Empower what, this nigga? Jamal Bryan, you should be ashamed of yourself for selling out your people for your fame and your wealth. You pork chop lying ass niggas, it's gonna come a time where, man, it's cool. Why? Because we we already seen people running the passes up out of there. Alton's going to be no different. You're such a coon. And I want to see if them white boys let you in since you, oh, my God, this dude, since, since, since you love them so much, man. So I tell him it's crazy that, I said, it's crazy that even when you know you're dead wrong, you still don't accept correction. See, I didn't realize how deep this guy was in his lies and shit. You know what I'm saying? I had no idea that this guy was like this. So he says, now remember, guys, I asked this guy a question. I asked him. When did you guys get scattered among the heathen? He responds with, so why was Paul called a Christian and Peter who walked with Christ considered him and, and Peter who walked with Christ considered himself a Christian? This is how, and like I said, it's, but it's not about him being dumb. This is him asking these questions because he doesn't want to answer the question that he knows he's wrong about. So clearly he's smart enough to see that he's wrong there, but he's playing stupid right here with these dumb questions to, to try to get away from, from admitting that he's teaching lies to the people. Man, this is crazy, man. That's why, man, nigga don't care. Nothing about these niggas. These niggas 
are a bunch of demons, man. This guy is really, literally getting on the computer every day, teaching people bold-faced lies, man. This is ridiculous, man. So, once again, I tell him, master magician of not answering questions. I said, LOL, are you ever going to answer my question, Al? I said, Paul, now here I go to answer his question. I said, Paul and Peter were called Christians because they follow Christ, period, simple. I said, Paul nor Peter have ever heard of a religion called Christianity in their life. I said, you know what Paul and Peter both were, though? They were Israelites, <laughs> right? But this guy's over here talking about oh, Hebrew Israelites got nothing. This guy's acting like these people he's reading about aren't Israelites. How goddamn stupid does Alton Johnson have to be, man? And demonic. Like, bro, all you got to do is open the Bible and read. You're over here talking about, oh, the church has this, the church has this. But the church was called the church in the wilderness, which are who? The Israelites, you dummy. Like, what is wrong with this dude, man? So, you guys, look at what he says. Let's not, diver let's not divert. You guys, I asked this guy this question before he said anything about Peter and Paul being called Christians. But So I'm trying to get him to answer that, and his response to me is, let's not divert. This is why I am so thankful that the Lord got me out of that church. There is no way in hell I could ever stand next to a nigga like this that I know teaches and thinks stuff like this. How can I sit in the, how can I sit in the church with this guy? How can I be in his congregation? How could this guy be in a panel with me to teach people anything when you know he's lying like that? That is re oh my god, this shit is crazy, man. Salaki, man. So he says, let's not divert. Says Peter, who walked with Christ, considered himself a Christian. It says Paul was called a Christian. And that's clear, and that's clear, plain reading of the Bible. It says, after you wipe away your tears, read it again. It says, and so you can see clearly. <laughs> read it again, and so you can see clearly. Right? This is Alton Johnson for you right here. And this is the pride of the Christian church. God get up and tell you a blatant lie like this, and then he shows you how arrogant he is in his ignorance. It's crazy, man. Like I say, there's nothing like that. A motherfucker that's arrogant and ignorant at the same time. You arrogant about what you don't know, dummy. I mean, there's nothing worse than that. But guess what? You have a special spot in the Cocoon County Plantation with Vocab Malone's your slave master when you think like this. I told you guys, everybody around him, they're all coons. They're not all as dumb as this guy, you know what I'm saying? But they're all coons. This guy, is a he's a straight liar, though, right? And you can see it. That's why he's not, oh, let's not divert. What do you mean divert, man? I've been asking you that. So uh, I, it's, it says, uh, and what is, so he says to me, and what is the name of the religion that practices the teachings and the life of Christ? So, but I'm responding to the divert thing first. I said, divert? I start laughing. I said, God damn, you got your track shoes on. That's why I call him out in track shoes Johnson, man. T-shoes, man. This guy's over here running, man, trying to get the hell up out of there. Yeah, this is crazy, man. I'm asking this guy a simple question about a, a short that he did. He's the one who said that they got scattered among the heathen. I'm asking him to just show me where. And he's talking about, oh, look at this guy running. I said, I just answered your question, Alton. I said, now can you answer mine? Or are you willingly teaching the people lies? Because it's, it's starting to hit me now that this guy won't respond because he knows he's wrong. <laughs> so the fact that he won't respond to that shows that he wants people to believe the lie that he just told. Man, Alton, <laughs> I want to know, oh, man. He really thinks he's going to, he doesn't believe in God. Alton thinks he's going to get away with stuff like that. He really does. I said, now can you answer mine? Or are you willingly teaching the people lies? I said, are you willingly teaching the people lies? I says, being Christian in the Bible has nothing to do with the religion of Christianity. I said, I guess you'll say Paul and Peter celebrated Christmas too and put a tree in their house like you. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Because he got a tree in his house, right? That has nothing to do with the Bible. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Now I'm answering his other question about what religion is it that whatever what question was that you, let me see again he said what is the name of the religion that practices the teachings and life of christ i told him i don't know you know what i'm saying you tell me what the name of that religion is that practices and follows christ you guys don't practice nothing that he said to do you don't teach his laws at all you don't keep them at all you got a christmas tree in your house when did he do that when did he celebrate easter when when you guys, this whole kind of, what, what the hell do you guys do that Jesus did ever? You know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of here, man. So I said, I don't know. Show it to me in the Bible. I said, like, can you do that? Can you show me your religion in the Bible, Alton? And you're going to see later on, he can. It says, how about you answer my question about the scripture you read? I says, when did the people in your religion get scattered among the heathen, Alton, for the 10th time? So right. Alton wasn't answering no questions, right? So an hour goes by. I hit him back up. I said, so you ran out of ways to dodge the question, so you just stopped responding, huh? I said, Christianity is crack. <laughs> so look what he says. The, so now he's finally back to answer. 
The word Christianity isn't in the Bible, but the concept is. You see that right there? So this guy's over here talking to me about his chicken shit religion that he just told me he can't pull out the Bible. It's not in there. But you know what is in the Bible? Israel's in the Bible, right? We're Israelites, right? We can find our religion all over the Bible, right? This guy can't find his in there. Which he, and he still can't put it together that it has nothing to do with the Bible. It says, uh, so I say, oh, really? Since, because he said the word Christianity isn't in the Bible, but the concept of Christianity is. I said, oh, really? I said, well, where's Christmas at in the Bible? Also, can you quit dodging my question? <laughs> when did your religion get scattered among the heathen, right? You see that? Now, watch out, because he's mad at me, because this devil's running around lying to people, and he's getting called on, and I won't let it go. Look at what he says. It says, Christmas is in the same part of the Bible where it says you can hold Passover in nightclubs getting drunk with half-naked women like you guys promote. Do you see that? So that's why I tell Alton, he's like a white person, man. This guy is still saying this, but, but what we know about Alton Johnson is that Alton Johnson does not believe in the Bible, period. You know what I'm saying? He's a fake pastor. King James Bible, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 5, but we know Alton doesn't believe in the Bible, so it doesn't matter. It says, reproach not a man that is turned away from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of punishment. But see, Alton, he's so crazy. We done went out, when it comes to the, the Passover thing, the, re the repentant in front of everybody from the whole nation and we haven't done it again it's just like the girl who committed adultery she, jesus said hey is anybody here left to condemn you okay we'll go and just don't do it no more right does alton do that because <laughs> we went we don't do it no more but alton's been putting a christmas tree in his house every single year and he can't find it in the bible he can't find christ saying to do that in the bible at all but he keeps doing it this guy has the nerve to talk about having a girl this guy celebrates easter and easter is all about fertility and sex <laughs> This guy, and I know he's probably taking his kids on Easter egg hunts, right? But this is how much of a hypocrite Alton is. But look, Alton's been teaching lies about the Bible. Do you think Alton will come out and say, hey, I mean, you know what? I was wrong about that. Salaki about that. I, I was teaching that, that that wasn't true. Those guys were right. Hell no, he won't do that because he's a hypocrite. He don't believe in the Bible. He's just throwing stuff out there to throw stuff out there. First of all, he's saying people were drunk because there was liquor there. I guess you can't drink. But it doesn't matter. We already explained that. At the end of the day, that's over with. Alton Johnson keeps bringing it up because why? Because he's against the Bible. Like, like I said, repose not a man that turned away. And remember that we are all worthy of punishment. So Alton, are you not worthy of a punishment? You're definitely worthy of a punishment today, right now, and yesterday, because you've been lying every single damn day. You know what I'm saying? So you're definitely worthy of it, man. You should try to repent, but you're so proud, you'll never do nothing like that, man, because you got the spirit of that devil vocab Malone in you, man. It says, well, the Bible doesn't forbid a man to drink. I said, you saying getting drunk is just a white guy way of hating. That's all, oh, you guys are getting drunk. He sound like a white boy, don't he? Just like a white boy, but you got to remember, Alton Johnson said that even Christians call him coon. So you know that he's really going through that get out process. You know what I'm saying? He really has a white boy inside of him, for real. It says, I said, that Passover happened one time, but what's your excuse for having a tree in your house your entire life? You know what I'm saying? Can you explain that to me, Alton Johnson, right? It says, this is also a demonstration of your self-hatred again, because you do, you hate the hell out of yourself. You hate black people. You hate people that look like you. It's just self-hatred. Here it is, brothers and went and said, Salakia. And you're still over here being like a goddamn white boy, still bringing that up because you're teaching lies today. So that that's, oh, I won't address the lies I'm telling. Instead, I'm going to talk about something that happened at Passover years ago. It doesn't matter if you guys came out and told everybody, Salakia, I'm going to keep on bringing that up while I lie to everybody. You know what I'm saying? While I use, and it's crazy, this guy stays talking about, oh, Proverbs 6, well, these three things, these six things do God hate. God hates the person that makes a lie. And that's all this liar is doing, you know what I'm saying? And he's doing it on purpose because he knows that he's lying. It's not like he's he's mixed up. He's just like the rest of these guys that are lying and lying and know that they're lying, man. So now it's cool because this this he sent this he sent this like because you see right here this says one day ago, but then he ended up sending this 18 hours ago. So this came way after I sent this. I didn't even know he sent this. It didn't even give me it didn't even give me uh no it didn't even give me an alert right. So look at this. He said, I hate myself because I don't agree with holding Passover in the nightclub committing debauchery in the name of God. You hear this dummy? So so he's talking about a Passover from two. This is what he's talking about. This is why you hate yourself. You're bringing up something from two years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's self-hatred. I got to figure out what I can say to hate on my people. So I'm going to talk about this, this Passover right here because I'm lying on the Bible. Everybody can see I'm lying. I'm about as dumb as a hundred pound box of rocks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can see that too. So instead, I'm going to bring up something from two years ago that everybody saw you guys repent for because that's the demon you are. This nigga trying to run around act like... Oh, 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 I love Christ. I love Christ. This nigga thinks because he says Jesus' name all the damn time that... 
<laughs> that he's really in Christ. But we just we're showing you through all the scriptures. He he's not in Christ at all. He's about he's a dumb he's dumb. So it says it says if that's the case, then I really do hate myself. Also, didn't Christ say we have to deny ourselves in order to see His kingdom? You see this dummy, like talking scriptures without is just a waste. So why don't you deny yourself Christmas? Why don't you deny yourself Easter? What does it mean to deny yourself? And why are you bringing that up for the past? That don't even make sense. Again, but we know you don't understand a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, vocab. This is his guy right here. These are the black people that vocab likes. It says, there's no way you foul mouth. You hear this devil? So like I said, these are these are the commandments that they think. They think that the commandments are talking about, hey, Alan, do you think God is mad at me when I say you are one lying sack of shit? <laughs> do you think God's mad at me for saying that? You don't believe the Bible and you don't know it. And you certainly don't understand the little piece that you're trying to attempt to know. You're ridiculous, man. So it says, there's no way you foul mouth. Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't say cuss words, guys. <laughs> but the Bible says people are going to get their heads chopped off for you have a shot, but we can't say shit. <laughs> But people are going to get their whole heads chopped off. People can get tortured for 10 days, but we can't cuss. This is Christianity for you. The, but, but I can't say shit, but Alan can go and lie on the Bible. He can go and lie and say that this means something that it doesn't on purpose. This is what Christianity does, right? You at, doesn't the Bible say always be ready to give an answer? Does he do, does he do that? There's nothing in the Bible that Alton Johnson actually does other than keep that beard on his face. And he's doing that by default because he's really a white boy on the inside who wants to shave it all off. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it makes me wonder, why are you even got a beard on your face? You're definitely not doing it because of a law in the Bible. You must just be following the Israelites because they're doing it. You don't keep anything else in the Bible. You're telling people to go eat whatever the hell you want to eat. And it just so happens that in the same books that tell you not to to have a beard, not to cut your beard off, the same books say not to eat no meat, uh, not to eat pork. Or, or any abominable meat, right? So he says, um, there's no way you foul mouth sin promoting. Do you hear this back? Oh my God, I cannot stand this. Do you, do you hear the hypocrite in Alton Johnson? Do you, hear, do you hear him? This guy says sin promoting while he tells you that Christ said to go eat whatever the hell you want. This idiot doesn't know what sin is. These guys tell you you don't have to keep the law and then tell you that you promote sin. How goddamn stupid does this nigga gotta be, man? Like, it don't even make no sense, man. This guy really types all this and just shows how dumb he is all the time. You know, the Bible says that a fool is considered wise until he opens his mouth, man. You should stop, you should stop having all dialogues with people, Alton. You know, because everybody can see that you are a goddamn idiot, man. I'm not lying to you either, man. It says sin promoting what it say? There's no way you foul mouth sin promoting, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, reprobates represent the most high. So, so who does though, Alton? You do? We don't represent the most high because we said a curse word. <laughs> this guy is crazy as hell. And you see how backwards that is, period. Sin promoting, keeping the commandments. What is he? What a, oh my God, this guy's crazy. But like I said, if we ask Alton what commandments does he keep, he doesn't keep any at all. He's actually running around telling people don't keep the commandments. And then turn around and tell us that we're, man, we're sin promoting. This guy is so goddamn stupid, it's not even funny, man. It's, it says, why? Because you wear fringes on your shirt and claim you don't eat pork when no one is looking. You see that? So now we're just lying. But you know, but like, like God said, man, a false witness that speaks lies. That's him. And he reads that scripture about the six things God hates. And he's he, he's a couple of the things on that damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So so by him his own record, by his own admission, God hates him. You know what I'm saying? For real. He's just a lying ass bastard. He doesn't understand the Bible. God did not give him to understand it. He lies on the Lord God himself. He lies on Jesus. He lied on, He lied and said that the Christian church was scattered. Lied and said that Jesus said all foods are clean. What the hell else do we have to listen to this guy for? You know what I'm saying? This guy's a complete and total idiot, man. So it says, your whole cult is a joke with the one-way ticket to the lake of fire, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Alton thinks that the lake of fire and hell are the same thing because a minute ago he told me I was going straight to hell. Now he's saying, the, I'm going to, give me one way ticket to the lake of fire. So is the lake of fire hell, Alton, or are they two different places? So mind you guys, this is just a little bit ago because I had asked Alton questions and, and, and a little bit of time went by. This guy wasn't, he wasn't answering nothing, man. So I posted this. I said, Shalom. Hey, Alton, Shalom, my dear beloved brother. I said, are you mad at me? I, I haven't heard from you since I did the video responding to your Ezekiel 34 breakdown. I said, do you still believe that your teaching was correct or is the most high opening the eye of your understanding now. You know what I'm saying? So we were wondering, man, because, you know, he hadn't said anything, you know, and since I since I did the video, you know, he hadn't answered the questions. So I just put this up there, right? Everybody, and it's, it's funny because everybody thinks it's funny. Everybody can see this, right? It's crazy as hell, man.
So you see William Smith just comes on. He says, funny stuff dealing with Alton. At this point, if he ain't an agent, he's a useful idiot. That's all he is. He's, he's just a punching bag. You're never going to knock it out. But you can always work your stuff. You can always work, you know, work your combos out on him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? And this guy clearly sees it. He's a useful, he's a useful idiot. You know what I'm saying? Because he's an idiot, but we're using the hell out of him man, to push the most eyes word. And to show how these Christians don't understand the Bible and how stupid they are, even when they get corrected, they won't accept the correction. You know what I'm saying? This is how dumb these niggas are, right? So it says, so look at Alton. I agree. That, oh, it's like it. He's a useful idiot. It says, the videos you do on him be having my side hurting. Keep them coming. Oh, believe me, they're coming. We're on every word this dummy's saying. This guy's talking real wet, so we're going to get all over his dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? And show him how stupid he is all the time. We're going to prove how dumb this guy is every time he opens his mouth. Since he got nerve to talk about reprobates and who's promoting sin and every word this idiot says, man, we're going to be all over it, right? So, look, here I am again, Alton Johnson. Why don't you respond or answer the questions I ask you? This is this guy's thing. He runs from questions. I'm not asking him nothing tricky, nothing hard. You made the comment. Prove it, nigga. He just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. It says, so look what he says. I do. It says, you hate my responses because you hate the truth. Do you hear this dummy? So his, So when I ask him when was the church, the church, and then he tells me, <laughs> uh, it's in Matthew 6. I, I, I hate the truth. That's the lie that he told me. I asked him when you guys got scattered. He hasn't given me an answer for that yet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's just a damn liar, man. So it says, I say, Alton Johnson, your responses are hilarious. They are. You're, the fact that you don't answer are hilarious. The, 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 you told me Matthew 16, man. Come on, bro. For the church, your responses, Alton, are fucking hilarious, bro. Salaki. It says, you just won't. I said, your responses are hilarious. You just won't answer my question. Let me try that again right now. For everyone to see, when did the people in the religion of Christianity get scattered among the heathen? Watch this, y'all, because we already know this guy's running from this because he knows that he's teaching a lie. But this is what I'm saying. That you, guys have see, you guys have seen how many times I've asked him this question. You see, it's not like he's just not responding. He's responding with something stupid every time that does not answer my question. So why is he doing that? Why would he answer my question with something that's not answering my question? If you didn't want to answer my question, you would just not talk to me at all, right? But he's he's taking the time to respond. It just never has that answer there. Why do you guys think that is? Because this idiot knows that he's teaching lies. Period. So, Look at this. So William Smithers says, Alton, so he questions truth. He says, is it in your church doctrine, which is the doctrine of men or the word? He says, William Smithers, truth is in Christ and his word. Doctors, doctors are to give a correct understanding to what's being read. Unlike that garbage preset package y'all hold to, right? So I said, so our preset package is garbage, but when I asked you what was Christ quoting when he said, love your neighbors, it says, you told me Leviticus 19. I said, so clearly, you're using the same package. I says, now, can you show me your correct preset package to explain the people in your religion being scattered among the heathen? I said, the fact that you ignore me every time I ask you that shows that you're willingly attempting to deceive the people. I thought Satan was the deceiver. This black ass nigga is, he's, he's literally trying to deceive people with his lies. So th this is showing that this nigga got Satan on him, but it, it, we already know that's why Vocab found him. You know what I'm saying? It says, the fact that you ignore me every time I ask you that shows that you're willingly attempting to deceive the people. How does God in Christ feel about a liar? You love quoting the six things that God hates, don't you, Alton? It says, does God hate your lies or does he love you lying, Alton? Answer that question for me. These guys are called Christian apologists. These guys are supposed to be the guys that defend the word. <laughs> they defend the word by lying on it. That's how that's how they defend it. It's ridiculous, man. So 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 look, some time goes by. I've got nothing. You see, he's over here talking. He's talking to William. You know what I'm saying? But he's he's giving me nothing. So I tell him, still no answer to my question. I said, Alton, you're making Christianity look bad, gig. I didn't know you were a straight liar like this. I really didn't. I had no idea that this nigga was like this. I thought he was just a cool guy who couldn't get it. I didn't know that this nigga woke up to lie for real. Like, he's a lying ass nigga. He's just another one of them, another one of those liars, nigga. And this is crazy that you run around and say Christ and act like you're nice and you don't say cuss words, but you niggas are some of the lioness ass bastards we have ever seen. Oh, out in this guy mad at me for calling you a lying ass bastard, nigga? You're, hell no, he's not. This is crazy. So here, so here goes my brother DB the plug. Alton Johnson, answer the question, sir. You see, everybody wants to hear the answer to the question. Everybody can see that this pastor who's running around acting like he knows God 
it won't answer it won't answer the question to the to, to what he said though. It's not like it's not like we're in some debate and um, I'm trying to hit him with a trick question. I'm asking him a question off of his scripture for the day that he put out there. And the fact that he can't answer it shows that he knows he is a liar, man. It's a goddamn shame, man. So so I tell DB to plug. I was like, thank you. He's really a demonic liar. I written I really didn't know it was this bad. I had no clue that this nigga was a liar like this, bro. I did not know this nigga's got down like this. It's one thing for him to read that scripture. That was funny when he pulled it out, but I already know why he went there anyway, because he wasn't reading scriptures like that before. He started reading that when I went and told vocab that vocab don't even know the scriptures that are talking about Christ in the Old Testament. Next thing you know, here's Alton trying to use that scripture to apply to himself and got busted over the head because he didn't keep reading the whole thing. It's unbelievable, man. So, this is Proverbs 9 verse 4. It says, whoso is simple, you know, and that's out. That's out and he's simple. It says, let him turn in hither. It says, as for him that wanteth understanding, she saith unto him. It says, come eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled. It says, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. <laughs> it says, he that reproves a scorner getteth himself a shame. So that's what's happened to me. I'm getting a shame for trying to help this idiot. Because all he is is a scorner and he's dumb. He doesn't understand what's going on and he's a damn liar. We'll waste our time with a dude who's willingly lying for it. This nigga's not being serious. It says... He that reproveth the scorner getteth himself a shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Verse 8, reprove not a scorner, unless he hates you. That's him. You know what I'm saying? I know a couple other people like that, too. You try to tell these guys something true, and it makes them start hating you. Oh, you guys aren't, you guys cussing, you guys are. All we did was try to correct this guy and ask him, hey, man, hey, what are you talking about with this scripture right here? When did you guys get scattered? It's made him do this. Hey, bro. Hey, what, what does it say in the Bible to do Christmas? You've been doing that every single year since you've been born. You're talking about one Passover that happened one time. You've been doing this. This is a reoccurring thing here. And I'm pretty sure you teach people to do that. And you have no problem with it. No answers for it. What about Easter? <laughs> Can you break that down? You're talking about Passover. You've never celebrated a Passover in your life. Ever. Out with your excuse for that. So it says, reprove not a scorner unless he hates thee. It says, rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Alan doesn't love us because he's not wise. That's what the Bible's saying. We're rebuking him. We're showing him correction. We're not just talking crazy to him. We're showing him the right way. And it's made this idiot come talk crazy to us. You know what I'm saying? That shows you that he's not wise at all. And like I said, he, he can't go through the Bible and prove his point because he's dumb. He doesn't know anything. This guy just went to Matthew 16 to show me when the church was first called the church. If that don't show you how dumb this guy is, how slow he is, and how much he don't got no business teaching nobody nothing, I don't know what will. For real. And then, But the cool part is the pride. You know what I'm saying? It's the pride that this guy shows. This guy doesn't know a damn thing, but he's proud as hell about the stuff that he does not know. It's crazy. This is, Pro this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. It says, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It says, But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's out, man. This guy hates wisdom. He hates instruction. He tells you don't do what God say to do. When you try to show him this correct, the correct breakdown of the scripture that he comes out and, and stumbles all over, he doesn't like that either. You know what I'm saying? He hates correction. You know what I'm saying? And he hates instruction. He's just a fool like the Bible says. He's not wise. He's dumb. He's simple like the Bible said. Okay, so I'm going to end it with this, man, because, you know, I don't want to go too long. This idiot, man. It says, it says, Proverbs 14 and 5. It says, a faithful witness will not lie. It says, but a false witness will utter lies. That's Alton Johnson. He just utters them out. One minute is the, the church is there. The next minute is the Christian church got delivered. The next minute is the, the church. But he's, oh, man, oh, this nigga is so stupid. It doesn't make no sense. But like I say, he just utters lies, man. It says, a scorner seeks wisdom. That's who he is. He's just a scorner. You seen when I was on his show and I'm trying to talk with him. He's cut me off in the middle of me talking to ask me the stupid Christian questions all the time. Are you being born again? Oh, I think, where are you going to be in the dead? Just all that scorner talk. And I should have asked him back, well, where are you going to be out? And so I could hear him lie and tell me that he's going to be saved. You know what I'm saying? I want to I hear that. I want him to tell me he knows for a fact he'll be saved. I should have asked him that. It says, Go from it says a scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth and findeth it not. See, Alton got the Bible trying to read. He can't find the wisdom. I asked this guy, uh, what was Christ talking about in Leviticus 19? I, what was Christ talking about when he said love your love your neighbor? Leviticus 19. So he knew where that was at. He's been trying to find knowledge, but he still don't understand what it means. Because if you know that's there, and that's talking about the children of Israel, why are you still taking what Jesus says and trying to apply it to everybody on the planet? Because this guy utter lies. He doesn't know nothing. He's trying to find some knowledge and he can't find it. Because he's a scorner like the Bible says. 
It says, a scorner seeks wisdom and find it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. This is easy for all of us that have understanding. As out where's the church first called the church, he gives me the wrong answer. Somebody's right under him saying, up, oh, wrong, sir. You want to try that again? Because to all of us, it's very easy to understand. You guys just don't seem to get it because you guys are scorners. Look at verse 7. It says, go from the presence of a foolish man. That's Alice. That, 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 that's Alton. He's foolish as hell. We know that. It says, when, so it says, when is it, it's going to tell you when to leave the foolish man. It says, go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceive not in him the lips of knowledge. Man, we already perceived a long time ago that that nigga out and does not have the lips of knowledge. That's what I'm saying. There's no way I could be in any type of fellowship, church, anything with that idiot. As soon as he starts talking, I realize this guy does not have any wisdom on his lips. He's dumb as hell. When he comes to me talking about, oh, Christ said all foods are clean, but then bring me a scripture about Peter being the rock. But then Peter showed you he never ate anything unclean. This idiot still teaches that. It just shows that he don't got no wisdom, man. None. No understanding either. Right? It says, the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way. But the folly of fools is deceit. And that's this nigga. He's over here deceiving the hell of people, ain't he? He is deceitful and he's deceptive, man. This guy's over here lying to the people and knows that he's lying but won't tell the truth. That's how you know these niggas are just, they're, they're doomed, man. And they're demons, man. This guy Alton is a black ass demon, for real. Start calling that nigga bad, B A D, black ass demon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bad Alton. That's that. That might be your new name, man. You know I got a whole bunch for you anyway, man. But yeah, it's not over, Alton. I'm gonna continue to do this to you because you're a damn liar, man. Until the next one, <laughs> Shalom. Boot looking cool, Chris and Alton. 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 Boot looking cool, Chris and Alton.